What is happening everyone? Notorious here and today I'm gonna be presenting you guys a little bit of team deathmatch on Redwood. Now this is Ari's gameplay and this is a fantastic gameplay, if I could say so myself. Not not too shabby, but uh today I'm gonna be talking about an NFL rant, I'm doing one about the Cleveland Browns, yes. I'm doing one about the Cleveland Browns. I did one about the Lions, but then I, apparently it's like the Lions watch my videos and then they decided to show up now, winning three in a row. I think three in a row. Yeah, they beat the Packers. They beat the Raiders. They they had, they're on a roll right now, and they beat the Eagles on Thanksgiving Day. So I sw I swear they watch my video and they're like, oh, this notorious guy is talking trash about him. So we're gonna do better, and they are. I don't know if they really did, but you know, I I, I promise you, they're, they're doing better now so that's good good for them i hope they keep it up you know i told i said they weren't gonna win uh all games in a row all all their uh rest of the games go nine and seven but it's actually possible you know i, I believe in them and i think they're gonna do well hopefully you know because all their games are winnable pretty much until the end of the season so i think they can do well but anyways i'm here to talk about the freaking cleveland browns and man they are just awful this is like, you thought the, the Lions were awful, but the Browns are even worse. I mean, you have a idiot owner that drafts Johnny Football, like that Mike Pettin and uh, Ray Farmer didn't want him. But, you know, I don't like Mike Pettin anyways. He's not really, I didn't think he was head coach material in the first place. So, I didn't care what he had to say. So, but, you know, uh, he really doesn't want Johnny Football, you know. he It was weird because they said he was going to be a starting quarterback, but then they backstabbed him and, and then told him that he was going to be the third string quarterback. And then now that Josh McCown is out for the season, he's they're going with Austin Davis. Like, come on, really? Like, Austin Davis? I'd rather lose with Johnny Football. Man, come on, man. Start Johnny Football. I know he's having, having problems, but still, you know. Austin Davis, that's not fun. That really isn't. So, I, I just don't know what to make of it. And they're they're currently, I think, 2 and eight. What are they? Two and nine right now, man. They 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 have, they already have a losing season. That's, I think Mike Penn should be heading out the door soon. You know, I don't. I see, I see nothing going on with Mike Penn. Nothing, there's nothing special about him. Like when they hired him, I was like, who's this guy? You know, he's he's a defensive coordinator for the Buffalo Bills, but nothing special. And you know, the Cleveland Browns they haven't won a Super Bowl ever. They never been to a Super Bowl in the first place. Actually, they've. They've only won NFL championships. Well, the last time they won one was when Jim Brown was there, which was 1964. Way before my parents were born. Way before I was born. This was way before my time. So, this was a long time ago. And, you know, they, they just always have some bad luck. I don't know what's going on with the Cleveland Browns. I hope they can turn it around, which I don't think they can. I don't, you know, they're not going to make the playoffs anyway. I mean, they're 7-9 and nine already. And Cincinnati's pretty much running away with this. Not running away, but, you know, hit them in Pittsburgh and, you know, Baltimore's a better team. That you know, they they just got miracleized by Will Hill uh, on that uh, kick six is what people are, are proclaiming on Monday Night Football. So I don't know what's going on with the Cleveland Browns. I hope you know they're just awful. You know, I made a little um a little soliloquy in tenth grade. I made a little poem about the Cleveland Browns, and I told them they would never win for the next you know like twenty years. And I think they're backing up my claim right now. The Cleveland Browns. You know, uh, Mike Penton, Ray Farmer. You you guys aren't probably going to be there any longer, so I won't be talking to you guys. But Jimmy Haslam, if you could turn this team around in like what I I'm in this was in tenth grade, so eleven, twelve, like if you could turn this team around in sixteen years, I'll be impressed. But I don't think you can do it because you have you don't know anything about football. You keep interrupting football. You know, no, they didn't want Johnny football. You know, Mike Penn and Farmer didn't want Johnny football. You told them to dra draft them and. They did, and, you know, nobody really wants him in the Cleveland Browns. I hope Johnny Football goes somewhere else, you know. He needs to – I was hoping the Dallas Cowboys or something, you know, he can grow and have a better offense because Johnny Football doesn't have any good weapons, really, except maybe Travis Benjamin. But other than that, nobody's really good on the on the Cleveland offense. This is probably one of the worst casting crews in the NFL. Well, maybe, you know, Tom Brady. You know, Tom Brady, I don't know. if He could probably do well because, you know, Tom Brady always has to deal with injury and – you know, he, he's always performed well with uh, players being out like Gronkowski, uh, Danny Amendola, you know. He had one of the great performances, you know, on a Sunday night loss against Denver. And, you know, everyone was pretty much out. You know, Rob Gronkowski got out. And yet, you know, the referees kind of screwed up the game. But he still managed to make a, a game-tying field goal, you know, which they would end up losing anyways. But still, they, he took the team to overtime. And, you know, he they, they weren't just going to throw in the towel, you know. But anyways, enough with the Patriots. But you know, you know, I like I like the Patriots. But, but uh, enough with them. But you know, the Browns. I don't think they're gonna win anything for the next 16 years. Now I said 20 years in 10th grade. But I don't think they're gonna win anything 16 years. So Jimmy Haslam, 
turn the team around in 16 years, which I don't think you can because everyone else in that division is pretty good. So if you can do that, I'll be impressed. You know, if you're ever watching this video, if, you, if any of your staff reporters ever, you know, stumble upon this video, you know, you guys should send this to Jimmy Haslam and and send him that message. Turn this team around in 16 years, and I'll be impressed. And you know, um, I think that's pretty much it about the Browns. You know, it's not really long. You know, I'm just saying. You know, they haven't been anywhere since Jim Brown. They haven't been to a Super Bowl yet, which is really disappointing for this kind of a franchise. You know, that's used to winning back in the 50s and some of the 60s. And then, you know, uh, Marty Schottenheimer was there in the 80s or something like that. And you know, they kind of got miracleized by Red Right 88 and the fumble and the drive. You know, I just feel bad for a Cleveland Browns fan. You know, even LeBron James is hasn't taken the team to a championship yet you know i hope he does but i don't know if he will i'm not sure if he's capable i think he is but i'm not sure so you know I, this is pretty much it you know i don't have a lot to say about the cleveland Browns. i'm just saying that they suck right now and they need to get their heads together jimmy has them please stop interrupting football please let the football guys do football and yeah that's all i pretty much have to say so my message to you if you can win in 16 years I'll be impressed, but I don't think that's going to happen. So, you know, if you guys stumble upon this video, please use this as motivation. That's all I'm saying. So, yeah, that's everything, you guys. If you liked this video, if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And that is everything. I'll catch you guys up later.